Hi. Look at that long ass USB cable. I'm gonna plug it in to the Mod Duo here by Mod Devices. This is the second video in a series of four about this digital effects pedal. It's too long. All right, I'm plugging that into my computer. Today, we're gonna go over patching. So here on the quick start guide, you can see there's some nicely laid out instructions on how to use the pedal, which is actually pretty simple to begin with, so that's great. And uh, it's gonna talk about how to connect it to things and what you can do with USB and Bluetooth and stuff like that, which is pretty awesome. But what we're interested here in is the uh, ability to plug it into a computer and create your own pedal boards. There it is right there. You can do this by plugging the USB cable into your computer and heading to one of these URLs right here. We're gonna to go to modduo.local and we're gonna load up this pedal board. All right, so there is the dry signal of the synth that we're using. We're using a Korg monologue for this. You can see that these are our in and out points, the patch points right here, those purple things. And look at all these pedals that you have. You can select all these pedals and drag them right up in here. And now I'm gonna to wanna to route the input into the pedal like that. And I want to route the output of the pedal to the outputs. Just drag and drop, boop. So now I have a reverb. Pretty cool. So if you double click, you can zoom in and you can start affecting the controls of whatever pedal that you've loaded in there. You can see this is a stereo out pedal. So we're getting a stereo signal and we're summing our, uh, our mono signal into it. Here, you can select any of these things and assign them to one of the hardware controls on the Mod Duo. So I just assigned that wet-dry amount to the right knob. You can assign multiple parameters to each knob, and by clicking the knob down, by actuating the knob, you'll be able to switch between those two parameters. So now I have my wet-dry mix, and if I click, I have the shimmer amount, which is a control on that digital pedal. Click for mix, dry to 100% wet. So that's pretty cool. I can also turn individual pedals on and off with the hardware by assigning their on and off to the foot switch. Just like that. So here's a little sequence. Slow it down a bit. It's gonna play with the shimmer verb because I really love the shimmer verb. Off, because I assigned it to the foot switch and back on. So what else can we do? I'm gonna grab this flanger here and route my inputs directly into it and then route the outputs of the flanger into that shimmer verb. So now you can hear I have a flanger. And of course I can click and adjust things there if I want. Now, because I can, and that uh, flanger is a little unruly, I'm gonna assign a compressor between those two things to compress the signal so that when the flanger runs through its uh, arc, it doesn't get too much louder or too much quieter. So, kind of get a more interesting sound now. Really slow flanger, which I can assign things like feedback or the rate to that left knob, and now I have even more control over the sound. So now I got this crazy idea where I can take an auto pan and because it's going to sweep between left and right in the stereo field, I can actually assign two different pedals to the output of that auto pan. And as it sweeps from left to right, I'll get two different effects. So I've assigned two different delays, one to the left output of the ping pong pan and one to the right output. So it's going to sweep back and forth and be affected differently depending on the signals left or right and each delay is sent to uh, an individual out, the stereo outs. Basically, I'm just trying to make a really gigantic drone here because that was one of the things that I was really excited about doing with this pedal.
You can hear that auto pan sending us left and right. The flanger's working. The shimmer is giving us that crazy atmospheric thing. And then we have delays on uh, the left and right signal independently of each other. It sounds really, really good in the lower octaves of the monologue. Let's bring it in some more of the oscillators on the synth. Now we're getting this really cool cinematic, it's kind of sinister drone. I'm controlling that software knob with the pedal there, which is awesome. That's just awesome. I love that so much. And that took me about 10 minutes to put together for my first patch. So let's go ahead and save this as something appropriate. Ambient destruction. Perfect. Now I can recall that as a preset hardware-wise when I unplug the pedal, which is pretty awesome. So that's an intro to patching with the Mod Devices Mod Duo Digital Pedal. Uh, stick around. We'll have a couple more videos. And if you didn't see the intro video, you can check it out in one of the links above or in a playlist in the video description. Uh, my name is Jeremy. This is Red Means Recording, and I hope you have a wonderful day.